What is up everybody, Echo here, welcome back for the first time in a long time to a game called Dinka. Now this is a really slow paced kind of Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley kind of game. And I just kind of am ready to start recording some more videos and getting back into it. And yeah, I haven't seen anything about this game except for the trailer. Plus, I've tried recording. This is probably my like fourth or so attempt to start recording. So I've played a little bit of the tutorial a few times. So I kind of know what I'm doing. So what's your name? Echo. What is the island's name? Oakdale. Yeah, this is just a slow paced kind of fun game. A long time ago, everything went south. Almost everybody was forced to move to South City. The people of South City live cold and miserable lives. You were born here. Most people have no desire to leave. But you do more than anything. And you might have found a way out. Help wanted. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany me to my old home, Oakdale. Voyage and accommodation will be your initial conversation. Anyone interested, please meet me at the airship terminal on summer 1st. Fletch. That, see how fast I read that? I read that so fast, and it still wasn't good. You leave for Oakdale today. They need to slow that one thing down. Because I don't... Whatever. But yeah, I'm just excited for this game because I, I just, I, I've always wanted, like, I mean, I played Animal Crossing and I, well, technically my girlfriend plays Animal Cro played Animal Crossing and then I got into it. So I basically took over and became whatever. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but we are now flying over Oakdale and we'll be landing shortly. All passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. Let's see what we get for this island gotten four islands so far this one looks kind of kind of promising looks like we've landed i'll tell you what i'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure echo i was starting to think no one in south city was brave enough to join me <clears throat> when you were the first and only person to respond to my ad i knew you were the right person for the job Oh dear, look at old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking, Echo. I'll see you outside, okay? Okay, one thing I am actually... Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I can. One thing I am going to change is the characters' voices. I'm going to turn that off because it's, it's very hard to talk. Goodbye, airship. See you later, alligator. Okay, Fletch. I mean, Granny. Wow. Smell that fresh air? I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Oakdale. Now, Echo, I'm gonna need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent, take your time, and find a good place for it. It'll be like our town hub. Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Oakdale for a very long time, but I think it can still be helpful. I'll be waiting by this dock until you set up the base tent. So if you get lost, just check your map to find the dock again. Good luck, Echo. The base tent, a base of operations, and island map. Pins can be placed on it to mark points of interest. Okay, so let's just get rid of that move camera thing. There we go. Open pockets, done. Now, let's just look at this map. Oh, I like this. There's like a long beachfront there, and it's part of the big island. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so. I did want to set up beside the dock. I still don't know if that's like important because if you get visitors or whatever. So let's just get out of the freaking way. I'm thinking here's a pretty good idea to do. It's like sort of away from the dock, but it's, it's good. Yes, this is a good place for a tent. What's up, Grand? So, this is where you decide to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Oakdale. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. 
I know it's not much, but it'll be a place you can call home. Now, there's plenty of room to spread out here on Oakdale, so please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit, so keep that in mind while you are looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you've placed your tent. Place to live when you don't have a house yet. Okay, so base tent, I want to be close, but I don't want to be, like, overly close. You know what? No. Well, this is probably... I don't know if I want the whatever... To, yeah, I think I'll put the, my tent back here. Yeah. Kind of nestled up against that. I think this is a good spot for it. This is a good place for the tent. Absolutely fruitly. Look at my home. I also like how seamless this is. Like, it's just a clean transition. Because Animal Crossing, it's like not that clean. And there's a loading screen and stuff, so. What's up, Granny? You found a good place for your tent. I know it's not much, but I hope you like our new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark, Echo. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. There is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people. But I'll tell you what, you certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the Traveling Trader Jong? Of course I haven't. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. Rumor is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. Training is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in visiting with his shop here. I'll tell you what, you can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him. What a way. That way we'll be... That way we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Oakdale. I'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site deed is. Just be sure it's close by. We want visitors to feel like part of the Oakdale community while they're here. Who knows, maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to me once you have a place. Once you have placed the visiting site deed. Place for visitors to easily set up camp. Okay, so this I want beside. Oh. Get out of the way. Because I want it to be like on the same level, but I want it to be like, say, two. So right there. Yes, it is. Boom. Got the visiting site deed. Visitor's site. Place where anyone can visit. Anyone visiting Oakdale can set up camp. I mean, none of this will probably stay here. Just for the fact that we're going to be building a city, right? So, Dr. Fletch. So, we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, Echo. You've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Oakdale, you know. He was a true blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself. But I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, Echo. Please, I want you to take his adventurer's journal. Please keep good care of it. This is your adventure now. Adventure journal. Fletcher's father's journal. It's filled with his past milestones. That journal means a lot to me, but I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it. But I have a challenge for you, Echo. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to... You're going to want a lot of permit points eventually, but we can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some of the milestones inside, so be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around this island, and that sounds mighty tasty. You go and find us some fruit, and when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Okay. So, escape for the journal. We have to harvest three bush lime, catch two bugs, craft one item. Explore. Every adventure starts somewhere, and yours starts here. Here's a milestone for placing the base tent. And camper. A place to rest your head. Your new home for now. Here's a milestone for placing your tent. Okay, so 
we are going to go find a fruit tree, which I already see one, and it's a small, it looks smaller than the rest. It's actually a couple, so I'm gonna go across the river. Let's go across the river. Get some more bush, bush limes. It's good to have a decent steady thing. Is that kangaroo just a... Oh my gosh. That dog just ate a kangaroo and left it on me. And we also want to collect more logs. But... I, think, I can't remember how many we need. But it doesn't matter because we're just taking our time with this. This isn't a speed run. This isn't a uh, perfection whatever. This isn't whatever will. Oh, you found something to eat. Eating food will help keep your energy. Uh, here is the recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier, so you can use these to craft your campfire. You have to find some wood yourself, though. Feel free to use the crafting table in the base tent to craft a campfire. Take your time, Echo. When you are done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. You received stones of rock cool. Some rock cool. Campfire. A fire you can use while camping. Okay, so crafting table. We can make a rock. A, oh, I thought that said rocket for a second. We can make a rock path. A simple path made from rock. Crude fence. Basic fence does the job. Wooden torch burns with medium light. Will burn out by the end of the day. A place to prepare meals. Cooking table. And a crafting table. Craft stuff here. And then campfire. A fire you can use while camping. Really? Audience everywhere. Okay, so we have a campfire. Let's go cook some food. Campfire. I want to put it beside my campsite. I want to put it there. And then let's cook the meat. Because why not? Let's go talk to Granny. Granny Mitch. I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Echo. I think there's a great future for us all here at Oakdale. Here is a gift for helping me out so much. It's a bug net. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you could go catch some of the bugs around here. Or maybe you could cook some of that fruit you found. I'll figure out something to do. I'm sure you will. Oh, and before I forget, take this sleeping bag too. When you get tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for your help today, Echo. I can't believe we're on Oakdale. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Bugnet, catch those creepy crawlies. Sleeping bag, bed on the go. Okay, so we are going to. Hey! Bird! Eat my meat! That bird ate my meat! Oh my god! Okay, so we're going to place in the corner. I want to sleep inside my pants. We don't actually need. Okay, we need to catch two bugs too. And I think. Actually, because I've done this, I want to just pick up all of these and catch up all the bugs until my inventory is, like, completely full. Because tomorrow we can sell the whole lot and get a bunch of money. Because we might have a person named John coming. But most of you probably already know who they are. Ulysses Butterfly. Blue moon butterfly. So yeah, I just want to like just collect a whole bunch of butterflies and seashells and all that stuff. Cause why the heck not? And I think I'm gonna do a video a day. So I think once I go to bed for the day, it's kind of like that's when the video will be over. So time limit frame on them i have no clue it could take me an hour to finish a day it could take me 20 minutes to finish a day who really knows only time will tell so length of videos i'm it's not going to be consistent uh, i'm already going to make that a promise what oh scarlet jezebel butterfly but yeah no time limit for how long videos will be what is totally dependent on what I do during the full day. Sometimes my energy might like get out and stuff. Hey there, Mr. Crocodile. What if I. Ooh. 
Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. Butterfly. Because if I want to actually put this stuff up here, just do a little bit of order. And then bones. I also want to put up here because I can sell the bones. Okay, butterflies, butterflies. Where are the damn butterflies? Porcupine. Right? That's a is that a porcupine or a hedgehog? What is this? Or is it an Australian creature that I don't know what it is at all? Got some cactus figs, those are good for food. I need butterflies though. I also um, don't know exactly how the clicking, because I have a clicky keyboard and stuff, will come through on the mic. So if it is, then I'll switch to controller. But I think this game is probably better with a keyboard and mouse, just because there's a whole bunch of buttons and stuff, right? Come here, blah, blah, blah. blah. Jezebel, yeah, I knew it. This game, I could see it all. This game is going to be so relaxing. Because it's like, who cares? There's no time limit. There's no whatever. I don't have to finish something in the first year. I'm not speed running. I'm not doing any of that. I also want you. Also, I need to mention this right now too. Grandma Fletch, her voice is probably going to change a good 50 60 times throughout this playthrough because i am not i'm not good at voices for one and i'm not good at keeping the same voice over time so it will most likely be changing i am more butterflies please mangrove swamp do you think i need to find Okay, so you can't climb too. You can't climb too. I think there's bugs over here. A new tree I've never seen before. Bananas. Banana. Okay, um, there's bugs over there. Get away from me, ostrich. Or whatever you're you are and boom three in a row right there i need five more okay five more and then we can go back and potentially go to bed for the night i also want to get stung by a jellyfish because it's an achievement <laughs> what is this is new too. Can I collect any of this stuff? No, it's just a cool feature. Okay, that works. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs and bananas. I like bananas and bugs. Ooh, seashells. Sharks are also very, um, Harlequin butterfly. Sharks are also very scary too. I don't want to mess with bug. Or mess with that. Ah. Get back here. There we go. I caught a large day. A large day? Or a large day? I might pronounce everything wrong. So please correct me if I need correcting. I am perfectly okay with admitting that I am not going to get every single name right in this game because you know nobody really does oh i saw a bug but it could have been just a glitch but how many do i need oh i only need one more we can start hitting back i think home is this way i believe home is this way home is yeah this way is more down that way and there's is our last bug. Ooh, I also collected the fruit. Um, yeah, okay. We're good. Jump. Ooh, 
all of these guys are like. Don't kill me, please. I don't want to die. These are cool looking trees. Oh, here's another fruit that I don't know what it is. A quandong? Got a quandong. Okay, what do I not want? I don't need that. I'll get the quandong. Just because it's a new plant. Uh, yeah. Okay, where is home? There it is, there's my campfire. What's up, little brew? Okay, okay. So let's. So I'm going to be selling all that tomorrow, which is good. Look through this book. Harvest Master. Picking fruit and logs off the ground will get you a fair, will get you far in this place. Here is a milestone for gathering lots of stuff up. Bug catcher. Catching bugs is a great activity. Here's a milestone for catching some of the, those creepy crawlies. Poison person. Being poisoned might not kill you, but it will take a lot out of, of energy out of you. Here's one time milestone for being poisoned, but try not to be from now on, okay? Entomologist. Make sure you document all the different bugs you've caught. Here's a milestone for adding new species of bugs to your PD. And shell yeah. Shells are nature's way of littering. Here's my for picking up those bad boys. Ooh, I actually got two of those. That is very nice. Okay, well, I think it is time for us to go and lie down. Call it a day. Yeah. Year one, Sunday one, Sema. Will we get level two? I know we'll get level one. I have no clue. No. Forging, we might get level two. I know we'll get level one. Level two? Yeah. Level two and a half. <laughs> okay. Different fish can be found depending on the season, biome, and time of day. Someone is visiting our island. Well, we will figure out who that someone is next episode. If you guys are excited to see this and you guys want to keep watching then leave a like leave a subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next video